gamers, welcome back to another episode of Game Master's Dungeon. Today's episode is going to be the year in review of gaming for 2015 on a personal level. So like what new stuff I've gotten into, what I've kind of gotten out of, um, things I'm going to be what I'm gonna be working on in 2016, some new projects, things like that. So really let's get into it. So 2015. So obviously first thing was the creation of this channel. Woohoo! So thank you for all of you that have subscribed and liked the videos. Um, look forward to a more consistent schedule in 2016. Uh, for content, I got a lot of projects I'm working on. Some of it's right here on the table. I'll kind of go over in a little bit. Um, another one of the big things we've started is um, Horus Heresy. So Warhammer 30k. Um, I've got some of my models right here. I've been playing Dark Angels, if you watched that video before, where CJ and I talk about what we're going to play. I've got two boxes of the Betrayal at Kalf models worth to put together. Uh, I've got to order the Dark Angel shoulder bits. I've got enough for one set of Kalf. i got to get enough to do the other set for the Marines. Um, I, the last couple of weeks, I've been really working on some of the terrain. If anybody's seen them or some of our previous Battle reports, the terrain looks rather lackluster, gray, and it's like glued to, glued to wood bases, but I haven't really done anything with it. So I've got some of those in the works that I'm working on, um, getting them based, getting them painted, and some extra bits to it to kind of liven it up. Uh, so future battle reports will have painted, good-looking terrain. Well, good-looking, and in my perspective, you people might not. Like I got a couple of pieces here. Uh, that I've been working on over the last couple of days that I'll go over here in a little bit. Um, let's talk earlier in 2015. I know got into Warhammer Age of Sigmar came out, so I ended up uh, picked up the starter box of that, a couple of units. Uh, we've played some games of that. We haven't played it for quite a while. We're back into our Warhammer 40k um, kick, so we've been doing a lot of that, a lot of building, a lot of modeling, painting, things like that. Uh, we did like a big apocalypse game, you know, not too long ago. You can check out all the um, pictures of of that over at the Facebook page, facebook.com slash Game Masters Dungeon. <clears throat> do want to get back into Age of Sigmar, maybe do some more battle reports, get everything painted, um, use up some of the nice terrain. <clears throat> uh, the Star Wars role-playing game, uh, the, the Jedi one, the, what is it, Force and Destiny had come out. Uh, for that new system, so we picked up the books for that, the starter, starter set. Uh, we played a little bit of that, it was really fun. Um, obviously, we'll do a, I'll do a section on like what I'm going to do RP-wise later on in the video. Um, I don't think what else. Other than that, it's really just kind of not really a whole lot of new, new games, um, new flavor that we've really added. Um, Obviously, Warhammer 30K is a big thing, and that's where we're really putting some effort into that. I know my friend um, got his sons of Horus. He's itching to play, so I'm like, all right, dude, let me build, let me paint, let me base, get my army looking good, because I want to shoot a lot of that, because um, that's really popular right now. And then plus, you can guys see some. Obviously, there's not the rules out for like the Dark Angel specifically yet, uh, but you will get to see uh, kind of how I like to play Dark Angels with the rules that they have available. <clears throat> trying to think of what else. Not, not really a whole, not really a whole lot of, like I said, not a whole lot of new stuff really. Um, we've been kind of, kind of weak with the RP. I did run the, the Final Fantasy based Pathfinder game earlier in the year. We finished up uh, like that first uh, season or whatever you like to call it. Um, I've got some plans for a second. Um, I'll talk a little bit about that later. So let's get into, uh, let's, so let's talk about Warhammer 30k and kind of where we're going to go with it. So, obviously, like I said, I've got two boxes of Calf. Um, got the models, I'm going to get them built, and I'm going to get them painted. I do want to get there's some, it's kind of tough, because really without, like, the Dark Angel rules, I don't want to buy all this extra stuff. And then it'd be like, oh, well, they play this, or they use a lot of this, or they don't like to use this as much, you know, because each right of war for each army will have, like, very specific... Uh, way it plays and things it takes and limitations on what it can take. So I kind of want to wait till hopefully 2016 will be a good year. Uh, we'll get Dark Angel rules from Forge World. 
Uh, maybe some new models. We'll get Lionel Johnson, maybe. Oh, that'll be fantastic. I might do a painting video on that model when I get it. Regardless of how much it's going to cost. 100 bucks, probably somewhere around there. Uh, but they, all of their models are fantastic. All of their Primark models are just some of the best sculpts. Like Perturabo, I almost started playing Iron Warriors just because of that model. But CJ was already doing Iron Warriors in 40k and he wanted to go, I don't want to say continue on, but he wanted to go back in time, however you want to put it. Um, working up, uh, I'm going to be setting up a workshop out in the garage for building terrain. I uh, got me a hot wire cutter, got some new tools coming, some new supplies, I got a table out there. Uh, so you'll be seeing some new pieces of terrain. Obviously some of the prefab stuff that GW put out. Uh, it's pretty good. I got a, I got, what is it, one, two, three, I think I got three pieces of that. Um, and it's really nice. I just add some extra bits and I paint it up. Um, but I want to kind of build my own because uh, then I can kind of do whatever. I want to build like a big factory. I want to build like an oil refinery or something like that. Obviously, that's down the road. My skills are still uh, in their infancy with my um, terrain building skills. So we'll kind of see how that goes. I probably won't do too many like how-to terrain videos until I really develop my skills. I will show off, I will have some pictures of projects I'm working on and like, you know, before, during, after kind of thing over there. So if you really want to see what like my beginning stuff is looking like, you just have to jump over there to the Facebook page. I will put a link in the uh, description below to jump you right over there if you'd like. Um, future of Warhammer 40k for us. Um, for us, our gaming group, it kind of like ebbs and flows. Like, we'll be like, yeah, 40k, we'll get into it, and then we'll kind of be like, well, yeah, maybe let's play this instead for a while, you know? Um, so we might end up, you know, you might see a dip there sometime during the year. Mainly it's me, my interests kind of go, it stays in gaming, you know? It might be, it might be Age of Sigmar, 40k, 30k, it might be board games, you know, something else. I am a video gamer, but obviously this channel is not for that. That's somebody else's channel if you want to talk about video games. I can talk about video games all day, but this is not where we're going to do that. Um, let's talk about RP, role playing. It's, I'm really, I don't, I don't know where I sit right now with RP. Um, because I've got a couple of videos. There's some more I want to do on, uh, like being a game master and, and dealing with your players and things that come up and arguments and things like that and uh, things that frustrate you because there's like I'm kind of at that level where I'm kind of frustrated with it um, where like I want to play it but then I like I want to run a game like oh I got this great idea and I got my system you know, we got like 10 different systems we can play I got a system for everything oh I can work it out I want to do been watching a lot of flash a lot of arrow I want to do something superhero but then do I want to get all my players together and then deal with the types of players like my video talks about? Um, do I have the patience right now? Right now, no, I don't. So maybe later on uh, in the year, once things kind of cool down, maybe we'll get a game going and I'll have some videos where I talk about that. I'm definitely going to do some more reviews of game systems. So I plan to do Death Watch. Uh, put out by Fantasy Flight. I do want to do Mutants and Masterminds 3rd Edition. Talk about that because we play a lot of that. Uh, talk about Anima, which is like a um, like an anime uh, role-playing game, which is really, really fun. Um, the biggest part is like making characters, you know, teaching people the rules, you know, then dealing with the people that, you know, like the rule monger and the clown and the ass and all that stuff. <laughs> so really right now I don't really see our group doing any RP, um, not mainly just because of that, because everybody's schedules, you know, most of our group is, you know, we've, we live, most of us live together for a while in the same house, you know, sharing rent, but we've all kind of split ways, doing our own thing now, so getting everybody together, getting everybody scheduled, you know, we used to, most of us used to work together, but now we don't, uh, so now it's just, it's a lot of coordination, you know, everybody's lives are hectic, especially, you know, Christmas is just around, we didn't get hardly anything done, we didn't, we didn't really meet up at all except for a couple of times at Apocalypse Game, uh, a couple of other times. So hopefully once the, you know, once the year rounds, 
in the end of January, February, things will kind of level out. We'll be able to get some more stuff. But until then, you're probably just going to see mostly me and CJ um, on these videos. Hope that's not a problem for you. Hopefully, if it is, you're probably in the wrong place. But those of you that come back that enjoy our commentary, thank you. <coughs> um, what else? Honestly, depending upon what comes out in 2016, because, I mean, Games Workshop did put out Betrayal at Calf, because I know that 30K is, is picking up steam from Forge World, so GW is capitalizing on that. That's why it put out that big set um, as as a board game and also to give people some models to use for a relatively good price. Like, it is fantastic for the price. I do have some reading that I'm going to be doing. I did get a Christmas present to myself. This is the 1 through 12 box set of the Horus Heresy novels. Come, I got a, I got a pretty good deal online. Like it's got a nice cool storage case with some Velcro to keep it closed. Whoa. You know, you got all your books in there. So I plan to, I want to read, I want to eventually I want to read the whole series. As it comes out, I know a new book, something, uh, what is it? Something with Garo. I think a new, a new book with him came out. Uh, Vow of Faith or something like that. So it's going to be going in him and Malkador, I think, Grey Knights, you know, beginnings and all that. It's going to be super cool. But I want to go back to the beginning and then work my way. Um, not only because for an entertainment value, because I love the writings. Like Dan Abnett's really good. Graham McNeil, uh, really good. There's a couple other authors in here. Um, I haven't read much by, but I'm assuming that they're going to be great as well. I'm really excited to dip into this. Plus, then it'll also give me some really good, because um, I think for our 30K games, because I really love, like, everybody, me and my friends that play it, and are going to start playing, are really big into the story. So I want to get all those story bits. I want to I wanna make it mostly narratives. I don't just want to have just, like, two big mobs of Space Marines fighting it out, right? I want to play through, my, my goal is to play through all the campaigns in the book. So, like, book one... Uh, the Horus Heresy Rules um, Betrayal that Games Workshop put out. It's got that whole Istvan 3 campaign with the Loyalists versus the Traitors and the Purging of the Loyalists and all that stuff. It's got that whole campaign that we want to play through that. Obviously, you're like, Brian, but the Archangels weren't around then. Well, I mean, they were, but they just weren't there. Um, but I'm just going to do some substitutes because I really want to play through that because the big thing for me now is not just going head-to-head, -head, but having a story to it. Um, I do want to get a new, um, I got a board over there where I've got some planetary empires set up. Um, if I get a decent amount of people, I want to do a planetary empires campaign maybe for 40k going. Um, playing my Dark Angels, we'll have Chaos. Um, my other buddy comes, we'll have Imperial Guard, we'll get the Orc player in the house. He's very, he, he's camera shy, it's, you know, it's his thing, he doesn't want to be on the camera. Um, so if we ever do have an orc um, battle report, um, it'll just be you know mostly from his perspective, him him holding the camera probably, but it'll still be pretty fun. You know he's got a lot of cool stuff. I don't know if some of you guys can see this stuff over here. You're like Brian, what is this stuff sitting over here? Well, these are pretty cool. These are Grop tanks put up by Forge World that he just he got ordered in. Um, so he's really excited to use those. He's got eight of them. Put together, um, so we're gonna get them. Like he, he keeps me like, "Hey Brian, you want to paint some of my stuff?" So we might work out a deal where I paint some stuff. He pays me a little bit, or you know, gives me a box set of something that I want. I paint some models, which would be kind of cool, you know, because orc stuff. I honestly, I've painted a few of his things before, like his Gasgol Thraka. I painted one of his uh, Death Coptas. I like painting orc stuff because I don't have to be really neat, and it looks really good afterwards. Yeah, so that's where we're at on Wargaming. I have looked, though, at, like, what is it, Infinity? Looks like a pretty cool, if I, if I, if I remember the right game, looks like a pretty cool um, war game. We do, I do have a lot of hordes and war machine stuff, so I'm going to do a review on war machines. Uh, maybe I'll do some painting videos. Right now, nobody's really into playing uh, war machine right now, because I think I'm the only one, well, me and the orc player have... Armies. He has Circle Orboros. I've got Signar. I've got Trolls, uh, Troll Bloods, and I've got some Everblight. And I do have the starter set for uh, Kador. 
I've got it built. I might even just paint it, uh, just to have it painted, because I do like the way they look. You know, the red, you very, uh, <laughs> very Russian. Um, we got the towel player. Um, we tried to shoot a video on the uh, on the towel codex. Um, I lost the lost the file off of the camera. Had a corrupted on the file, so we got to have to reshoot it. So hopefully within the next couple of weeks, we'll be able to get that reshot and get it up for you guys. So you can see our thoughts on some of the new towel stuff. He's super excited. I'm excited. I still have towel stuff. <coughs> um, so let's kind of talk about then like so terrain and scenery. You're like, okay, Brian, you've been talking about this. I don't know. Yeah. Obviously, at the end, I'm going to do, uh, maybe I'll do some close-ups, maybe like 30, 40 seconds of some of the stuff I'm working on at the end of the credits. So if you stay stay tuned to the end of that, you can kind of see some of the stuff I'm working on. But I got this, uh, the Space Marine uh, statue that comes out of like the box set from GW. This, and uh, the big, um, the big uh, Aquila that's all broken. I've got that, it's upstairs, uh, the paint's drying on it right now. I also got some craters, just like from Pegasus Games, just some plastic craters that I've, um, I don't know if you can see it very well, but I've, I've painted up, put some flock on there, it's, and I've kind of done like a, like a spring kind of theme, so my first big board set that I'm going to get done for all my terrain is going to be like a, like a weathered, old, dirty um, city ruins with... It's like in spring, so like there's like a lot of the snow is thawing, things like that. Some of the grass is coming in, so like this this crater, it's obviously a bunch of earth that's been made, but then there's like grass is starting to grow back in the middle, and there's like snow pooled in the middle uh, from melting and things like that. So most of my craters are going to look like that for this set. Um, I've got, I took one of the craters, and... It's it's over here. I'm not gonna show it because it looks it it looks horrendous right right now. Um, but it'd be I'll be like think about it like man, would it be cool like a nice lava, like a lava board, you know, where it's like a like a volcanic uh, planet and uh, all, all this kind of stuff. First of all, you're thinking okay, why would two armies go and fight on a lava world where it's like volcanic eruptions and stuff like that? You're like well. We'll come up with some kind of story for it. It'd be kind of cool. But I took one of the craters, filled it with glue, trying to get it to dry. It's been like four days for this. You know, because it's deep. You know, it's like a three, you know, it's like what, three-eighths of an inch of glue in there. Trying to get it to dry. And then I, I got some little um, airsoft pellets that I've pushed down in the top about halfway down. So it looked like bubbles. Uh, but when it dried, you know, some stuff shrunk more than others. So I had to put another layer of glue in there, trying to get it to dry. So it's over there. Hopefully when it's all dried, I'll be able to, you know, I'll prime it and then I'll be able to paint it so it has like some bubbling lava and this like little, little craters kind of come up. I think having a set like that would be kind of cool. I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. If not, I'll uh, try a different way of making it, but you will see it eventually. Um, I've also been working on some like, such as some scratch build stuff. You probably, you probably guys are looking at this thing over here like, what do you got over here? Is this a cigar? Actually, no. So... Well, this is its infancy right now. I don't think you guys see it very well. So basically, it's a uh, some homemade paper mache. So it's just paper towels with water and glue. It's rolled. So this is going to be like a crater. I'm going to build up another layer. You know, so it's going to be about maybe like an inch tall. And I got some some putty. So I'll build the crater. And this is the bits out of from the Death Strike missile. Out of the the Manacor Death Strike box, Death Strike missile launcher box, because they built the Manacor, um, and I got the bits left over. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool, you know, big missile, poof, you know, never exploded. So I can put like some other bits and stuff around here, um, and then like it's got all like the obviously all the parts to close it off, because it's because you can see through it, you know. So all the the bits went to the other tank. So I was like, well. What am I going to do with that? How am I going to do that? Should I get like little pieces of thin cardboard to glue on the top? But I'm like, you know what? I think I'm going to leave those panels off, not do anything with them. And I'm going to get some little fine wires and stick wires like hanging out of it. Make it look like it's been um, um, pillaged. So like, you know, all like the, the navigations and all that stuff has been taken out. But the warhead, since it's going to be buried down in the dirt, was inaccessible. Um, he didn't want to go digging because he wanted to set it off, so maybe orcs came along and pillaged it, or 
uh, the Imperium came and did whatever. So maybe a cool story piece for this would be um, if you know something happens, this thing could potentially go off during the battle and this big catastrophic explosion going around. Or maybe it's like a one of the things I liked in the betrayal of no, sorry, not the betrayal account the um, the betrayal campaign out of that first book of the uh, Horus Heresy rule set. They've got the Life Eater virus bomb. In one of those, that would be kind of cool if it was like this. Use it in 30k. Um, like it comes down, poof, goes off. Use those same rules. You know, decimates the battlefield. That would be kind of cool. But obviously, like I said, this is just in its infancy, so a lot of work's going to go into this. It's probably going to look pretty shoddy, but it's my first attempt, so don't judge me too bad. Um, then right here, I've just nothing really painted yet. I just got. The Cataphractor Terminator is built out of the first set of Betrayal at Calf. I've got them based so that I can prime them, so that I can paint uh, paint the sand and I can dry brush it. But my flock and my, uh, well, because obviously I'm going to do some more research on Caliban. Because Caliban was like a, like a forest uh, forest planet, you know. So a lot of green, a lot of lush. You know, it's not just going to be like this barren, barren desert kind of stuff. I want to have some green on there uh, to really kind of, you know, hit hard to home. And I got like the Contemptor Dreadnought here. He's he's built, he's primed, and he's he's spray painted uh, with black because obviously Dark Angels. Um, I'm probably gonna do probably not gonna do any painting videos on painting Dark Angels in 30k. I might, but it's boring. It's like all right, here's your model, black everywhere, and then just like some gray highlights. Obviously, you know the 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 metal bits and things like that. But it's still it's like I don't want to say boring, but it's not exciting. Obviously, I've got my 30, no, my 40k Dark Angels that I'm painting as well. That's a little more fun. Like, I got my Deathwing Terminators. I've still got, like, 10 more of those to paint. I've got, like, five units of bikes to paint for the Ravenwing. I've got one set done. Another set's half done. I've got, like, three or four land speeders to do, attack bikes. I've got Samael on his, it's the old model, so it's all pewter on that jet bike, and that thing is atrociously heavy. And, of course, the stand broke. So I'm like, well, so most of the time when I play him, I just like set him on the ground. He doesn't, he doesn't stand up on a base. If I do, I'm going to have to drill up in there with some magnets, magnetize a thicker base, stick him on that. Even then he might just one like, whoop, tips over, arm breaks off, cloak breaks off. We'll see. Do I want to buy the new fine, the fine cast model kit? Make it lighter, easier to put together. Probably not, because that's more money. Because I put that money toward my 30k stuff. We'll see what happens. Um, trying to think of what else. Uh, Tyranids. Still working on Tyranids. Like over here, I've got uh, some guys that are primed and base coated with this, like the fleshy color. So I'm gonna do uh, High Fleet Colossus is what my High Fleet's gonna be. So it's gonna be like a, a play off of Leviathan. But instead of using like the red wash underneath the, the flesh color, it's going to be like a, the blue. And then their carapace is going to be black with the blue highlights on it. And then their, uh, their weapons and talons and sides and stuff like that are going to be like this. Uh, I'm going to be use red and orange on them. So we'll see how that works. I've got one. I got a Tyrant effects. He's about 80% done. So maybe once I get it done, I'll put some pictures up on the, uh, the Facebook page. Um, just so you guys can see kind of what it looks like and then if I like the way it looks maybe I'll do a painting video um, on how I painted it um, what else for 2016 as of right now like I said it's still just the, you know we're getting ready to turn the new year tonight so not really quite sure obviously as things comes out um, you know any new products that are gonna really gonna get us excited for we're obviously gonna do some videos on we're gonna talk about it uh, we're gonna get the hype going, and we're gonna we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it here into the dungeon. We're gonna break it down for you. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna show you the parts, things like that, uh, just so we can you know as a community we can just kind of talk about it, right? Um, other than that, don't really have anything else as of right now for 2016. So that's kind of where we're at. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna leave it here. So we're gonna leave 2015 behind today. Tomorrow will be 2016, so we will see you next year in the Game Master's Dungeon. Happy gaming.
this guy. Got him painted, did like a bronze, like a bronze motif. Uses some of that, um, I forget what it's called. It's like the, like the greenish blue, like the oxidation paint that Games Workshop puts out, the Citadel puts out. Put it on there to make it look all oxidated. I made some icicles. This one right here, I decided to bend a little bit, so I gotta figure out how to fix that. Um, icicles that I've glued on there, got some snow on the feet. Still gotta finish the base. Put some snow up there, more oxidation. A little oxidation around the base of the cape there. So not bad, I kinda liked how it turned out. I got a special board upstairs that I'm working on for it. So it's so gonna be like the like a big one by one or one foot by one foot squared board. He's gonna sit in the middle and I had some some plastic jersey rails that I ordered online that I kind of put around as like a defensive formation that I'm gonna make all dilapidated and, and worn. Make it kind of like there was like a last stand there years ago. You know, like the Imperium is like rallying around um, this statue of a space marine to give them, you know, to inspire them to, to valor and honor and stuff like that. Um, over here, this close up of this, you know, big, a you know, wide shot, get my hand out of there. You know, so not, not too bad. Didn't mind how it turned out. Some flocking on there. Got the snow, make it with baking soda, a little glue, some white paint, mix it all up, makes it very thick, you know. So I got a couple of pieces like this in the works. So yeah, um, obviously the other stuff is still in the process of drying, so that's really all I've got for this portion. But thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you share the videos as well. You know, if you know somebody that's want to get into get, get into 40k or into role playing, have, you know, send them over to my other videos, and hopefully they can uh, gain some insight. Until then, we'll see you next time in the Game Master's Dungeon.